Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Justin Sarachik, Editor-in-Chief of Rapzilla.com, and just like every week, I'm here to bring you the best news of the week. And last week was loaded with a ton of great stuff, so let's jump right into it. Last week, I dropped an interview with mega superstar comedian John Christ. You may know him from his viral videos, from his hit phrase, Check Your Heart, uh, from his stand-up set, which I got to see him at Caroline's Comedy Club in New York City awesome time. Uh, well, we spoke about his song, Check Your Heart, which features 1K Few, No Big Deal, and DJ Michael V. And the song was huge, streamed a bunch on Spotify, they dropped a music video, and the song even charted on CCM Radio, which is kind of weird because they generally don't play rap music. So we kind of dove into some of the reasons why he felt that his song was played on CCM Radio and some of the, the thoughts that he has towards CHH and ways that people should, people or, or some Christians in general should kind of not be afraid of Christian rap and you know CCM and worship music isn't the only music out there reaching a culture. So we spoke about that, we spoke about how the song came together and pretty hilarious, he, he really had no idea what was going on half the time in the studio, but of course they made studio magic. So be sure to check out that interview and stay tuned for part two coming out later in the week. Over the last couple of months, Andy Minio has been dropping little singles that have all led up to the project that he dropped on Friday called A Work in Progress. And A Work in Progress is, is kind of an assortment, a mixed bag of raw and unreleased or different original versions of songs that he already released. So it's pretty cool to see the stages of how some of the songs that are that are now released on other projects kind of came about a little stripped down, and it's cool to see some of the songs that he felt I don't I don't think I should put these out, but we're glad that he did. And the way he put it together from from top to bottom and the little interludes and the podcast snippets really kind of made it feel like a concept album, which is really cool since none of these songs had anything to do with each other. Um, so Andy Minio just down to the, to the marketing and the artwork and the creativity behind it really put forth one of his best efforts of a project, which is pretty amazing considering, ah, these were just throwaway tracks. So be sure to check out Work in Progress. You can listen to it on Rapzilla in a post. We've spoken about many times on Rapzilla about Kanye West and his Sunday service. Some people always roll their eyes. Other people kind of like it. So we'll just briefly mention that last weekend at the California Worship Center, Kanye brought his usually outdoor Sunday service indoor, and he had a special guest, Tori Kelly, helping him lead worship at this church. Um, it was pretty amazing. We have the article up on Rapzilla where you could see some of the clips of the service. I mean, how do you feel? What if Kanye West walked into your church and said, hey, let's do service today? Uh, I mean, we saw some comments saying people would walk out. Others said they're just going to treat it as normal. Some other people said that maybe Kanye West should spend some time with the, the pastor and, and learn some steps to actually become a worship leader. So, I mean, wherever you stand on the issue, it's kind of, it's, you know, kind of pretty cool, maybe a little controversial, but you could check out the clips on Rapzilla right now. So, you may have heard of Christian hip hop artist Shepard and his huge single, Game Time which is charted on different viral areas of Spotify and even made its way onto the Game Time playlist, which has over 6 million followers. Well, that Shepherd was just signed to Records slash Columbia Records, which is an offshoot of the main Columbia Records. But that song got him a deal. He had over 5 million streams on Spotify and they noticed. And he joins the likes of Sia, Noah Cyrus, Nelly and a bunch of other major artists. Shepard, shout out to you. We've been posting him on Rapzilla for a while now. This is huge. And here's a quick roundup of some other stories. No Big Deal announced that he's going to be on a few dates of Futuristic's IM tour, which is huge for No Big Deal. Shout out to you. We also did interviews with Rapzilla freshman of 2019, John Keith where he spoke about his new album, Olympus, and the impact that it's had on his and his fans' lives. We also interviewed UK legend Esso about his song, White Jesus, and some of the controversy around that, but you know, he explains himself so well and explains the message of the song that that's definitely a must read. 
And another Rapzilla freshman, Toby Nwigwi, appeared on NPR's Tiny Desk where he did a 15-minute medley with his wife and, and newborn baby in tow. That was a pretty great thing to see. All of those are on Rapzilla right now, and you could check those out. And that's it. That's the news for this week. Be sure to head on over to rapzilla.com. Like, share, comment. Let us know what you think of all the stories you see, you hear. And a uh, special shout out to Phoenix Studios in Staten Island, New York. Every week they host this show and they are your number one stop for mixing, recording, mastering, music videos, artist management, whatever you need, they got it here. Let them know that you saw them on rapzilla.com and you get 30% off whatever you want of your first time. Then you can head on over to Rapzilla Spotify and listen to all the new drops from Friday. You can head on over to Pandora and listen to the Christian rap mix to hear some exclusive commentary from your favorite artists. And make sure right before you're done to head on over to New H2O to hear some of the best in indie Christian hip hop. And uh, I mean, that's it. Like I always say, my name is Justin Sarachik. This is Phoenix Studios, and you're watching the news on rapzilla.com. See you all next week. Peace.